more questions? Let's come over here. Um, so uh, I have heard people come up to me, and I, I just wanted to explain that uh, uh, Holland America did take away my Segway and gave me this 200 pound scooter to replace the 25 pound Segway, and uh, that's really limited my mobility. But Joko Cruz and the Home Office have been wonderful. They've, they've pushed it and appealed as much as they can, and I want to thank them for that. Um, I, I posted on Twitter the, the explanation letter where they said that this is going to be a lot safer for me and other people. In the past 18 hours, I've banged my knee, I've almost run over a three-year-old, I've uh, broken a mirror, I've um, uh, you know, banged up several elevators, so yeah, we're doing great on that. <laughs> Three cruises with no incidences and two days of heavy seas, and yesterday one was perfectly calm. You know, this is great. So I'm just wondering, a lot of people can ask me, what can they do for me? And the question is, if they change this policy, how do we get it fixed for next year? Um, yeah, I've been following along, um, and, and obviously the policy that was set by security this year and that came from Shoreside, we, we worked to um, appeal that and to do what we could on board. And, and while I can't make promises about what the Holland America's corporate policy is, um, I can say that I, I would be happy to work with you and, and um, the rest of the team at the Home Office would be happy to work with you throughout the year to get all of the information about the accessibility equipment that you are using it to, and to submit that in advance and, and try to get through access and compliance the, the department, um, the short side that does handle these requests to help them understand exactly the, the nature of the need uh, that you have for, for that equipment. And, and I obviously can't make promises, but I'm very hopeful that um, that we can we can do something to, to work, on, work on this with you. I think that's about all the time we have, unless it's a very quick question. I don't want to cut you off. Okay. Oh no, it's a long one. <laughs> <laughs> it comes in seven parts. <laughs> um, but thank you all again for both for coming on the cruise and for coming to this event. Uh, we always greatly appreciate your direct feedback in addition to the surveys and the emails. Uh, so thank you for caring. It's how we improve because because you are comfortable when we're not saying something that's simply awesome. So thank you. Yeah, and never, you know, never hesitate to call us out when we get it wrong. We really do value that feedback, and we're not going to get mad at you. Not, not that we're referring to any specific incidents this year. <laughs> no, no. no, but uh, it's it's really uh, married to you. But um, in that same way, I think we do rely on uh, the idea that we can safely talk back and forth about what is going on and if you have a concern you can express it to us and, and we will listen and if, if we have something to tell you we will express that and you will listen to us that's that's the only way it works and it's the way it's the way we get better every year so thank you and it looks like the time is up but there's a lot of caveat sauce left over so everyone yeah, can come out the spare portions on we'll be having a caveat sauce party on the CU deck at two o'clock today it starts with apples <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys Thank you.